joining me right after my morning run I've just done a 12k splendid Parisian morning so I burned some calories and now I'm pretty sure it's the best time to compensate them with some glorious French pastries so that's where I'm going right now to get some something for breakfast and actually the place I'm going to is supposed to be kind of special but before you join me in that place let's start with the translation in English, the word viennoiserie translates as pastry. In French, however, viennoiserie comes from the word viennois, for people and things from Vienna, the capital of Austria. Indeed, Austria is the actual birthplace of France's most famous breakfast pastry. The modern croissant saga began in 1683, when the invading Turks attempted to tunnel underneath the walls of Vienna during the Ottoman siege of the city. Fortunately, bakers working through the night heard the sounds of Turks digging and alerted the city's defenders. King John III of Poland arrived in time to defeat the Turks. Austrian bakers wanted to celebrate their victory by creating a pastry that would symbolize the crescent moon that appears on the Turkish flag. The Kipferl, the German word for crescent, became that symbol. The Kipferl made its way into France in 1770, when the Austrian-born Marie Antoinette was offered in marriage to the future Louis XVI. Marie Antoinette felt homesick when she arrived in France and missed Austrian cuisine. The royal bakers decided to make Kipfer in her honor, which they subsequently named croissant. Over the years, the croissant has evolved as bakers added more butter to their flaky masterpieces. Though the croissant is not originally a French pastry, it has been a staple in the French bakery since the 1920s, when the bakers perfected the shape and recipe of the croissants. So that boulangerie right behind me is supposed to be special because as the sign suggests it has the best croissants in Paris for 2019. I bought two croissants and of course a French baguette and I believe the French tradition is when you buy a French baguette and especially when you're hungry, you have to do this. Mm. So when I saw the sign on that boulangerie that they have the best croissant in Paris, I thought right away that I have to try it and put it to the test and see if they really do taste better than any other croissant in Paris. I can't say that I'm an expert, but I've tried probably dozens of croissants in different boulangeries all across Paris in my time here so I'll, I'll be really curious to find out if these really are the best tasting croissants in Paris so this video is going to be a review of supposedly the best croissants in Paris and I'm back home and that means it's time to test out that croissant I got the tea ready I've got the strawberry jam I've got the Nutella well, it's actually Paramilka. And the star of the show today, the croissant. First of all, let's talk about the presentation. Uh, the first thing I noticed is that they have the branded bag, which is not actually all that often seen in the bakeries of Paris. In this case, this bakery, which is called La Fabrique aux Gourmandises. Excuse my French, if you're a French speaker, I know I have a terrible accent, I'm just learning. And they, on the back, they actually have the same sign that says that they have the best croissant in Paris in 2019. So let's jump in and see what's inside. Ta-da! It's the croissant. I think it looks amazing. Well, I don't know how it tastes yet, but it's definitely one of the prettiest, if I may, sexiest croissants I've tried in Paris. I'm already salivating, so if you excuse me, I'll just... Put this bad boy in the microwave for 10 seconds to make sure it's warm. 
Here's the warm croissant. Add some Nutella and chew into it. Mmm. Yeah, it's really good. So now I'm faced with the challenge of describing the taste of this croissant. Imagine a croissant and I'm sure we've all tried them. Sometimes they're on the dry side and that kind of croissant, it doesn't melt in your mouth. It's not, it's not a very good taste. On the other hand, sometimes a croissant is, is too fat. It, it has too much butter in it and it's, it's, it becomes more smooshy and more chewy and it's not also the best, the best taste. But this croissant, it's not too dry, it's, but, but yet it's crunchy. It's not too soft and yet it's, it melts in your mouth. I'm thinking that the bakery, this bakery has some kind of a secret, secret recipe to make these croissants as good as they are. And in my opinion, they definitely deserve this award. They sure do have the best croissants in Paris, at least in my book. If you're ever in Paris and you love pastries just like I do, go check out this place. It's uh, I'm gonna put the link to this place in the description of this video. I'm sure you like this croissant and they have lots of other pastries. The breakfast was amazing. The croissant was really good. And this was the first attempt at food review. I hope it's interesting. I had good fun doing this. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time.